Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Adli Arif bin Abdurrahman and I'm from Section 7 First of all, I want to say to Puan Baizura I hope you are doing great and in a well condition during this MCO So our main topic is risk of fatal motorcyclist road crash in federal road to save your precious time Puan, I will keep this introduction as short as possible. Okay, for the introduction, the number of motorcyclists get killed or seriously injured has been significant problem over the years. Motorcycles are less stable and also less visible than cars. When motorcycle crash, the riders are lack of the protection of an enclosed vehicle so they are more likely to be injured or get killed uh, so we are going to the objective of our study so as we can see here we have three main objective the first one to identify the distribution of motorcycle road crash along a federal road the second one is to select the contribution factor of the fatal motorcycle crash based on the RMP report and last but not least to calculate the risk of motorcycle fatal along a selected along a selected federal road in Negeri Sembilan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good to you I wish to Puan Baizura binti Abdul Hamid my name is Farah Waini Nati Mahawad Rizwan. Moving to the uh, my presentation about the aim and objective for this case. Uh, for the aim, uh, risk of fatal motorcyclists, uh, road crash and a feeder road is um, to determine the risk of fatal road uh, crash involving motorcyclists in a feeder road. There are three objectives uh, for this case. The first one is uh, to identify the distribution of motorcycle road crash along a feeder road. And the second one is to select the contribution factor of the fatal motorcycle crash based on RMP report. And the last one is to calculate the risk of motorcycle fatal along a selected federal in Negeri Sembilan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Ashraf Bin Osman for Section 7. Okay, moving for my part, there is method for this topic. So, we have looked at the statistics in 2016 that show most of the fatal accidents involving motorcycles. This show that motorcycles are very important transportation in today's world. This means that no other vehicle is not important but based on the data collected the motorcycle has the highest risk so one of the methods that the responsible responsible party has to do is to create a data set based on the way that happen most often in addition the data collected is also part of the signal plan which has many intersection this is important method because it detect it can detect location that need to be monitored and tightened in the security of PDRM. This is to prevent fatal accident involve motorcycle and other vehicle. Hi, assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Ashraf. So I will continue presenting about result and, and discussion. So at this section, uh, we are uh, discuss the result and findings of the study so basically at this uh, section we divided into four subsection uh, so the first subsection is uh, finding discuss on the type of crash severity related to the motorcyclist so the second finding is regarding the crash risk and the third finding is uh, regarding the risk of motorcyclists based on the road segment and the last one is a uh, subsection discuss on the summary findings okay so uh, we will proceed uh, to the table 
so uh, motorcycle crash scenario so as we can see in the table uh, it shows a uh, road length road crash motorcyclist so for motorcyclists uh, we have rider and pillion so for those who don't know pillion is a uh, pillion is a uh, passengers for motorcycle so we have injuries okay, injuries for fatal and non-fatal so fatal is causing death so uh, for death we have 437 and non-fatal uh, is 1947 so we have age of group uh, gender area type and roadway type so for roadway type we have uh, as we can see single carriageway uh, number of motorcycle crash is 1363 which is the most uh, motorcycle crash in that uh, carriageway so that's, that's all for uh, result and discussion thank you before we start our conclusion let me introduce myself my name is Mama Afishukri bin Arafat and I will explain about the conclusion okay as the conclusion a motorcyclist is more at risk of being killed other than uh, any other types of uh, vehicle use the risk depends on the factors such as the rider's age sex road characteristic and the motorcycle experience uh, next based on the formula in Liu Chen Lu and Chao Tu at 2010 uh, and the result tested by using or comparing of the crash the result shows the risk of the motorcycle fatal crash per million vehicles approaching the singles carriageway were 1.74 times as high as the crashes at dual carriageway okay meanwhile the risk of a motorcycle fatal crashes per million vehicles at the rural area is 3.57 times higher than crashes in the suburban area this difference was found significant last but not least the odds motorcycle fatal crashes at the suburban area is 2.04 times higher than crashes in the urban area next which difference were found significant then by comparing motorcycle fatal crashes and motorcycle crashes as a result motorcycle fatal crashes at rural area are 1.75 times higher than the crashes at suburban area with the difference also found significant so uh, this is the end of our presentation uh, that's all from us thank you and assalamualaikum